I'm a man. I'm 40. Great news, guys. <coughs> I'm a man. I'm 40. We're a man. We're 40. I'm a man. I'm 40. Whoa. I'm a man. Indeed. I'm 40. Whoa. Wrestling's High Marks, the highest podcast ever. I've got one question for everybody here tonight. You got a joint? Yes. 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 All right. All right. All right. I'm going to get you high today. Oh. My grandma drank all my pot. Oh no! I'm pregnant! Oh! 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 Oh no! No way, man! I'm a man! I'm a man! I'm 40! Episode 40! I'm a man! I'm 40! I'm gonna use that drop a lot this episode, I'm sure. Yeah. At it's least feeling. whenever we mention the word 40. I'm a man! I'm 40! Yep. I'm a man. Oh, no, I'm, I'm a 40. man. I'm forty. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's get this shit started. Let's do it. I'm a man. I'm forty. Wrestling's high marks. Episode forty. We're a man. We're forty. We made it. Forty, 40 episodes. Whoop, whoop. That's ten yep. months that I have had to deal with you fuckers. Indeed. And uh, well, now we do that. two shows, which we never promote on the other shows. I don't know why we never mention it ever, but yeah, we do two shows, which means I really have to deal with you people a lot. Yeah, so midweek Munchies is still kind of in its infancy. We've only had, like, what, seven episodes? It's only seven. No. <clears throat> but yeah, y'all should check that shit out, too, because it definitely doesn't do the numbers that this show does. Not that this show does good numbers. <laughs> Hey, we've got our dirty dozen. <laughs> Twelve to seven. <laughs> so the what is it, the uh, midweek munchies episode is actually kind of fun, just because uh, I enjoy the talking shit about along. raw. Oh, the yeah. horrible watch alongs talking shit about raw. It's a good time. It is. <laughs> raw. I'm smoking raw and drinking coffee, call. as is traditional with me. Nope, We're gonna be I'm watching. Also doing that. We're going to be watching MLW Fusion, episode 40, which features the Heart Foundation versus the Dirty Blondes, which could be an NWA match from the 80s. And then we get Roosh versus Shane Strickland in one of Roosh's last MLW matches, I'm sure. Along with Shane, probably. And more. Right. Yeah, and more. Probably like fucking promos for the next goddamn pay-per-view That's for nice. half an hour. Remarkably accurate. Disgustingly accurate. So yeah, we're going to cue that up. That is on YouTube. That is MLW Fusion episode 40. It's easy to find. It's the only thing called that. Yep. <laughs> Type it in. You won't find anything else. And it's just MLW. I mean, it's easy to spell. <laughs> Our guy Cheese Man is going to bring us in. As he does. As yep. he is prone to do prone to do <sighs> yep so without further ado let's get this fucking shit rolling start this in 418 419 420 40, 40, 40, 40, 40, 40. i hear Damn. sound from somebody <laughs> oh that's me <laughs> oh somebody forgot to hit the mute button yeah i, I hit it jacked up button. high after watching my what culture videos Oh no! I'm glad to turn it down. I'm not listening to Shane Strickland talk. Well, who could blame you there? <sighs> Where you been, Shane? I ain't seen you since uh, you got some dreads ripped out of your head. <clears throat> the lo- that's right. I remember that, and I remember him being in Lucha Underground, and he left his brothers behind. I'm sure his yep. brother appreciated that. That had to be uncomfortable. Right, get out of my behind. Leave me. Depart. I was wondering if anybody got that joke. Thank you. Break up and not in me. It was a butt sex joke. <laughs> he likes the gay sex. Did you get it? <laughs> How often do you get it? <laughs> How rough do you get it? <laughs> yeah, this is one of those instances where I'm happy we don't have sound on because that did a hell of a wrestler, but I don't like listening to him talk. <coughs> Somebody from a funhouse. I think that just uh, <laughs> of that was. 
Oh, it's Roosh. All right. That he was bad mouth in MLW. Straight out the fun house. Oh, he fist bumped the dude. He's from Tala, Jalisco, Mexico. Uh huh. Good pronunciation. Thanks. It may have even been correct. I don't know. Showing off your girlfriend? Is that it? <laughs> I am not. <laughs> <sighs> All right. Let's get into NXT or else we're going to have to watch this match intently, and that doesn't sound fun. Oh, that sounds more fun to watch this one intently than the fucking main event. Yeah, actually, this <laughs> could be possibly the one good match of the day. All right. NXT, NXT. <laughs> open with Street Profits versus the Metro Brothers, which is Chris and JC, the Metro Brothers. Damn. I don't know what Roosh said, but he pissed fucking Shane Strickland off. <laughs> Sorry. The Metro Brothers. Anyway, the I'm Metro just Brothers. Waiting on some jokes for that from anyone. This in my notes it says they're fighting somebody called the Metro Brothers. Definitely not a good start. Mm -mm. And then um, from the looks of it, the Metro Brothers just came off the set from the remake of The Outsiders. There we go. That's what I was looking for. <laughs> Stay gold, pony boy. They did not look like metrosexuals. They looked like greasers. <laughs> so, during the Street Profits ring entrance, the one dude's acting like he's hitting the other dude in the stomach while he gyrates. So, yeah. So, what do we get out of Nigel? He says, What are they doing there, Percy? <laughs> <laughs> like the black guy is supposed to know what the weird black guys are doing. Oh, I forgot about that. Yeah, I laughed when it originally happened. But personally, <laughs> quick as shit was on it to respond, wasn't he? Like they had that set up ahead of time. He said, <laughs> the, the, "They're having fun, man," which you obviously know nothing about. <laughs> but but it wasn't really an explanation for the weird shit they were doing. It was just I like the exchange between the announcers. It made me laugh, and it was like almost racist, almost racist, right. but not like blatantly. All right. Which it was a valid question too. I mean, anyway, like, yeah, what, for sure. What, what the fuck are they, they doing, doing? Percy? If anybody knows, <laughs> it's the other black guy that's here. <sighs> other well, than anyway, that, fuck this match. But that was you funny. knew that the street profits were going to win. Yes, but because you're not expecting them to get their ass kicked by for fuck's sake, stay forgotten sons. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, dude, the crowd was all over them guys, dude. We forgot yeah. you. You suck. <laughs> Stay forgotten, and you still suck. They just kept it going for them guys, dude. Uh, yeah, no, so we're right. Like, Stay they forgotten. Do. They're not they over. Suck. They suck. So I wish the writers would forget them, and the unemployment line would remember them. <laughs> the street profits pick up the win after a frog splash from like 84 feet in the air. Jesus Christ. He was way high. And Nigel at one point said, uh, the NXT universe can say what they want, but nobody is forgetting about the Forgotten Sons. Like, well, if nobody's forgetting about the Forgotten Sons, then why the fuck are they called the Forgotten Sons? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. What a terrible gimmick. What a way out of time terrible gimmick. <sighs> All right. We get a Bianca Belair promo. Which was okay, not great. Ignorant! Change it! I'm a man! I'm 40! 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 I'm a man, I'm 40. I'm a man, I'm 40. Impotent. I am not. Change it. I am not. I'm a man, I'm 40. Impotent. I am not. Change it. I am not. I'm a man, I'm 40. Impotent. I am not. Change it. I am not. I'm a man, I'm 40. Impotent. I am not. Change it. I am not. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm 40. I'm a man, I'm a man, I'm 40. Is he 
Hi, it's Mark. Where'd all my friends go? I don't know. You dropped out. Well, we stayed in the school. According to me, <laughs> you dropped out. But okay. Oh. No, because uh, I was just Mojo talking, was talking, and then and there know. was nobody there. <laughs> I noticed you were being quiet. And Mojo was talking. I flipped over and it said you were still connected, and then it showed that you were dropped. Okay. Like, okay. Anyway, so, uh, we get a Bianca Belair promo. Did y'all hear that well, part? Actually, we uh, went back to the five-minute mark and paused it on the fucking video because we were doing the watch-along. Well, <laughs> I didn't. It's still rolling. <laughs> oh. And we're at 726, 27, 30, 31, 32, 33... Thirty eight, thirty nine, thirty one, forty two, forty three. I'm pretty close. <laughs> Seven forty two. I'm seeing. Right. Well, we're only a few Bruce, minutes in. If you want to do this whole thing over again, uh, I'm back in sync with you. All right. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Yeah. For so for everybody at home watching. 803, 804, <laughs> 805. <laughs> uh, were we Hopefully done with the Street Profits and Metro Brothers? Yes. I don't know if y'all were still talking about We were about on. Bianca's got 2020 <laughs> vision, and Shayna and the horse women. Yeah, Bianca was kind of an interrupter. Or as I call them, the heroin addict and Lyra Logan. <laughs> Other Logan, my coffee. Heroin addict. Yeah, J uh, Dukes does look like she's got some. She fucking looks like she's like strung out on pills and shit. You know, fucking meth head or something. I shit. haven't right. slept in four days. <laughs> I won't wrestle unless you have cocaine at the venue when I get there. And I don't give a fuck if she knows how to fire now. Uh, she does not look intimidating. The bitch looks like a string bean. She really does. <sighs> She's got like no fucking definition to her arms. They're just bones. Like 100 pounds of human. All right. Like, who the fuck are you going to fight? <laughs> so, <laughs> Shayna Baszler hits her with a pretty good burn on the uh, undefeated, overrated thing. That was not bad. Yep. The crowd picked up on it real what? quick, too. Yes, they did. <laughs> and, and they seemed... <laughs> Less than 50-50. <laughs> I was not happy they didn't cheer more for my girl Bianca, but, you know, that's how it goes. Yeah. And then Bianca I, I, slaps the taste out of mouth. Yeah, she slapped the shit out of her and then got the fuck out of Dodge. Gets the fuck out, <laughs> avoids the horse chicks, and smartly leaves. But it was an okay segment. Yeah, it wasn't bad. All right. Adrian Jayud. Versus yep. Chris, Donovan, Dominic, Dijak, Dijakovic. That's I just like how it came out. Gotta be hard to <laughs> print on the back <laughs> of the jersey. All that. Right. I just like when Jaud comes out and they're like, yeah, he's got a black belt in Brazilian Jiu Jitsu and Aikido, and like, but he's doing Capoeira. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, rest in peace, Adrian Jaud. Yeah. Feast your eyes for the win in a. Squash. A Rooney. Yeah, Dominic Djokovic, who looks or sounds Russian as shit, but is from Worcester, fucking Massachusetts. Yep. Okay. <laughs> and his real name is Chris Dijak, so we should have just stuck with it, but what are you going to do, right? Yeah. Got to change that up. <laughs> Got to find something that That's works. Oh. Make him sound That's Russian, that, damn it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Floored him up, damn it. Johnny Badass uh, versus Roberto Carrillo. With, without Raul Mendoza. Without. Well, before that, we had a uh, War Raiders pro promo that was actually had a pretty good production quality to it. Like, I enjoyed the promo. Skipped it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I did. Yeah. <laughs> too because I don't have it in my notes <laughs> I, I, I love Undisputed Era but I kind of want to see the War Raiders get the titles well war, they've war, held war. them for a decent long time like it wouldn't yeah. be a bad thing for them to give it up right. they've had them for about a year at least yeah they've had them for no. a long time now 
<laughs> Ever since, uh, it's been almost a year. You don't do that. They ain't losing no. the damn title. Shut up. No, no. <laughs> I think it was Takeover before um, Mania was when they won the belts. So yeah, they've had them for almost a year. I could be wrong though. Yeah, fuck them. Anyway, Johnny Badass <laughs> and Umberto Carrillo. <laughs> I thought this was a competitive squash. Yep, and Carrillo looked pretty good until he lost. <laughs> kind of what Carrillo does. He lost by Slingshot DDT, which is pretty epic. <sighs> Slingshot DDT. Yeah, it's a nice move. Uh, Champa promo next. Fabulous. Alistair's going to have to wait till takeover because that's what main event players do. Right. Yeah, when he's talking to his main puppet. <laughs> his number one puppet. He did say that. It's hey, true. Alista. Oh, it's damn true. So I've I've only been half ass paying attention to this match, but it seems like I've just been seeing Strickland get his ass beat the whole time. I just now looked at the screen for the first fucking time in like five minutes. In fact, it's right. over. No, it's not over. It was a replay. Okay. Yeah, since we synced up the fucking... Uh, Times I don't think I've looked at the screen. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's a good thing we did that to make sure uh, that everybody was all set. Right. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, Cassius Ono and Keith Lee, anybody? Oh, no. What a slow, shitty match this was. Slow and lots of shitty spots. These guys is what I wrote down. This reminded me of the match? shit show. Right. Because uh, instead of leg locks... It was half ass and oh no, just keep on kicking Lee in the face. Yeah, that was no, nope, just oh no, kicking Lee in the face. Okay. <sighs> and then we get a crappy ref bump, and then a Nakamura for the one, two, three. Nakamura to Lee, yeah. and oh no, wins. <sighs> and can you believe after that, Matt Riddle came out even though he's not medically cleared? Wow. Yeah. No way. Look, dude, they did this Well, when wrong. he was being oh, a dick right. and not being a dick, that wasn't cool, bro. This and I had to come out, dude. This could have been better. Didn't oh, it could have been a whole lot worse, too, bro. That's how you look at it, dude. <laughs> didn't Cassius Ono and fucking Keith Lee have a good match before? I don't and know. They had, had... Oh, no, oh, that no, was no. Keith Lee and Lars. Yeah, yeah, I was mm -hmm. just thinking of Lars. Yeah, that was a good match. That was a great match, yeah. It was an impressive okay. match. Well, yep. I, I just want to point out that Ono should have called out Keith Lee for helping Matt. And th then they have the match and maybe even a program together, but instead they have Ooh. Keith Lee standing up for Ouch. his boy Matt, which makes them both look like fucking punk-ass bitches, especially after Ono goes over. Right. They did it wrong. And usually NXT doesn't do it wrong. I was a little like, what the fuck? They could have did that different. And I think they even know that. To be fair, any time they involve Cash or so another, they're kind of doing it wrong. Yeah, like involving him is the wrong part. He's got a zero on that jersey for a reason. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we say, usually count on NXT to be the charisma good right show underneath that it. we talk about and everything. And I'm said in our group chat that. I was yeah. What the fuck happened this week? Say, yeah, I think this was a rare bad episode of NXT. Agreed. It definitely wasn't a good episode of NXT. No, no, it was. <laughs> no, sir. All right. Well, that's all of NXT, and this match is still God, going. Damn. damn. Oh, that was stiff as fuck. Eat some shoe. Ugh, you didn't just throw it over. Not. Did we just blow through that, or is this match just dragging ass? Ugh. Nice bump. 16 minutes in. I think he was both. Oof. Look at that pin. Cocky prick. <laughs> I love how they're like, oh. okay, we're going to put you over. And he's like, all right, but here in a couple weeks, I'm going to sign Smash a contract with Ring of Honor and fuck you guys. Right. We're taking all MLW's talent. Finger quote, talent. Uh, finger quotes. 
no, the lot, you don't have to be quiet like that. that there was like only like two actual signed actual MLW wrestlers like Tom Lawler and somebody else. Is it Cage? We just speculated on some. We don't know for sure. Oh, wait, no, he's Impact. Never mind. Yeah, who yeah. else do they even have? Although, if you believe Chris Jericho, MLW actually has more money than we think they do. Yeah. Oh, the well, ROW the just Heart took Foundation. or ROW. ROH just took um, they said Roosh. They took Brody, and they took PCO. 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 Yep. So that's what I'm saying. They're kind of rating MLW's roster. Well, I mean, like, I know. <clears throat> they don't have a ton of money like other companies. That's how it goes. Oh, this is already the fucking effects of AEW hitting the fucking lower ranking shows. Right. <clears throat> yep, everyone's like, all right, well, we have to lock these guys up now or they're going to be gone. <clears throat> With Colonel Parker and the jump rope. <laughs> They must be hurling a bunch of money at these motherfuckers for them to be like, yeah, sure, we'll sign up contracts with you and not do anything with anybody else, even though you guys don't have, like, shit for shows planned or anything like that yet. Oh, that's the other match. That might be good. Ricky, Ricky Martinez, Martinez versus Gringo Loco. Also known as Crazy Max Stardom with two X's. Huh. And we get Ace Romero. Ariel Dominguez, huh? Oh, wow, we get four matches tonight? That's surprising. Hmm. She was at like three. Hey, has anybody mentioned yet that Ace Romero is fat? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think it's come up. All right, well, it's on the show now. We got there first. <laughs> yeah, we were the first ones to use our eyes, but man, that guy's a little, uh, a little overweight. Oh, speaking of overweight and MLW guys... What's that other dude's name who they got? Barrington Hughes. Barrington Hughes is one of their exclusive guys, too, I think. I haven't seen him oh, anywhere wow. else. Wouldn't see why. I mean, well, <laughs> I couldn't who exactly else is going to give the guy oh, money? Did we already say Kofi Brazil? <laughs> nope. No. No, we did not. I haven't seen him anywhere else. I haven't either. Well, I think, some is, I think they, they work like other federations and shit that we don't see that don't do like tapings and shit right because i heard uh teddy hart does shows for uh somebody else too i was like oh as far as i know he was only on mlw but i just wish he didn't lick the hammer and it would have been fine all right casey lennox everybody shut up (laughs) no i'm gonna i said shut up it's okay i can't i can't hear her over them damn teeth anyway (laughs) or her What's with y'all bitches and your big ass teeth? <laughs> Hello? <laughs> she was just trying to rub one out. Leave me alone, I'm busy. <laughs> I don't know what she's so pissed about, but it seemed kind of convincing. <coughs> okay. Oh shit, 140 This guy's pounds. 140 pounds. Okay, I'm glad you saw that. <laughs> Because he's about to be in there with 440 pounds. Dominguez. Hey, there's Barry Oh, shit, there's Barry Hughes now. Oh! The other big giant bastard. And Joe Rogan when he gets excited. And he's at ringside, which means he'll probably get involved. And I feel bad for that ring. (laughs) Oh, fuck! (laughs) And he's facing Ace Romero. Yep. So, he's only got 260 pounds. He's the smaller of the two. The guy at 140. <laughs> it's 140 no, versus wait, 440. No there. Yep, is that only a difference of 260 pounds? Is that all? <laughs> or now, this is two a more Dominguez's? <laughs> right. So he's almost three times the fucking size. He's a triple Dominguez. Weight wise. <laughs> 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 Well, this has potential guy, to be cool looking because the guy can just like, like fucking toss him around. Is... Ariel Domingo has, or Dominguez has potential to become G Wiz's new crush. <laughs> now he's a little too old. <laughs> he's still little and hairless. <laughs> <laughs> and Hispanic. <laughs> just one hands him. 
did we want to go and talk about? You must die, little dude. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like he's oh. wrestling a toddler. <laughs> I told you to clean your room, boy. Yo. Get in the corner. <laughs> You're taking a time out. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh. The whole ring. Jesus. <laughs> See the girl go running down the aisle all scared. Oh my god! I'm on Taco Bell. The oh, fucking stampede. Uh, he's trying to fuck his face. Mm. Oh, now what the hell are you going to do down there? That's not going to go over uh, Dude, you don't want him to fall back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my hamstring. See the look on his face? That looked pretty genuine. Like, oh my god. Like, man, I almost died just now. Let's go right, let's go. I thought that's how my short life passed before my eyes. <laughs> this is he, he damn near down. comedy wrestling. It is comedy wrestling. Oh, look, he's reeling. Is he going to go down? No, he's going to destroy his little ass. Oh, shit, oh. here it comes. Ah, he's dead. Someone get the fucking spatula. Just one move to put the guy down. That's good stuff. <laughs> Oh man! And I came back from that the concession stand. <coughs> the match is over now, man. <laughs> Your winner and still morbidly obese. And then the guy from Jurassic Park, Park is still recording the match on his cell phone. Shivani. <laughs> Tony Shivani. Not sure what's going on out. <laughs> Hi, but I think a robot just farted. <laughs> I heard that. Is this metal on metal sex? No, it's better. <laughs> I don't know what that robot ate. <laughs> I can hear it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, it's a snowblower. <laughs> Great. It might be at my oh, house even. Sucks. It's Flying Brian. He looks way younger than 41. <laughs> It is Wait, freakish how much he looks like his dad, man. Seriously, it is freakish. Well, I, I guess the mullet helps in that that way. For sure. That, yeah, that definitely adds to it. Too bad he ain't quite got the talent his dad had yet. Oh, hey, boys, we're drifting. Impact on pursuit. <laughs> I'll, it's ironic because I don't think many people are pursuing it. <laughs> <laughs> That's not very nice. We oh. want them to succeed, man. Come on. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't know people are pursuing it. And that's why I'm saying impact on pursuit to make sure more people know. Twelve more people know that it's on pursuit. Yeah. And twelve more people know probably what don't have the pursuit this, channel. <laughs> this KM versus Haley's comment looks just like a guy to me. But hey, we won't have to see him wrestle again for another 75, 76 years. <laughs> It's character. I didn't even write the guy's name down. <laughs> That's what the commentator said. He called him Haley's Comet. Okay, well, I, I got KM versus and then a blank space. <laughs> Brian Cage is on a rampant. Yeah, he usually dies. That's fine. Yeah, he's like PCO. He comes <laughs> back to life somehow. Indeed. So, so I guess I get to regroup. Brian Cage is on a rampage. He's looking for Johnny. And then I wrote, probably because he just watched Homecoming. <laughs> I had Brian Cage comes out and saves us from this disaster of a match. That's a way better joke than I got credit for. And I like yours, too. Okay. <laughs> so he comes from the backstage area and just fucking wrecks everybody. And by he, I mean Cage. Yep. I hope he does this all night during every match is what I wrote down. I still think that's yeah. what he should have oh, done. It would have been a better gimmick. Uh, this, one of the spots that I loved was seeing that power bomb of Falaba from like the middle rope. <laughs> With his head under the flap. <laughs> under the belly under the flap. flap. <laughs> <sighs> Did that cartoon New news? We have to report. He, Cage has killed Johnny Bravo. I repeat, <laughs> Cage has killed Johnny Bravo. Yeah, uh, Cage destroyed the ref, which I assume is Johnny Bravo. 
Then he grabs a microphone. He says he wants his rematch, and he'll see him and Killer Cross in Mexico City. And I'm like, well, if Johnny wasn't there, it'd be better, but okay. Indeed. If Johnny's there, it's always like, oh. Then Johnny's music hits, and out comes Johnny with a microphone. And I'm like, oh, fuck. But before he can speak, Killer Cross puts a jacket over his head, and then him and Moose kick the shit out of him. <laughs> I, I hope, love that he came out and tackled him with a jacket over his head. I hope they I do like, that yes. every time he tries to talk. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> Just throw his ass a blanket party every time he's got a mic. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it, it, it's what I want to do anyway. So, <laughs> uh, Cross and Moose fucking shit stomp him and then leave and... Cage then drags Johnny to the ring, and then once they're inside the ring, Killer Cross and Moose come back and attack them both. Which sucked. I wish he would have, they would have let him fucking beat on Johnny a little first. Thank you. <laughs> I agree completely. It's like, it's okay that they come down again, but they should have let Cage just, like, fucking beat on Johnny and then came down and yeah. shit stomped him. You know, like a couple power bombs or something. Come on. So I'm tired of seeing Moose fucking Killer Cross already. Like, stop it! Yeah, I was so happy when they split up, and now they're right back together again. Yes, yeah, so like, stop that. So after a commercial oh, break, uh, Cage challenges Moose because he speared him. Yay! I was actually hoping that after the whole Eddie Edwards thing with Moose, that we weren't gonna see Moose for a while. Well, like, he's, Moose take he's, a break. he's real big though. They're not gonna lose him. What does AEW want him, damn it? <laughs> go to AEW. <laughs> you go now. <clears throat> Speaking of Eddie Edwards, nice fucking segue. Dude. Eddie Edwards versus Ethan Page. Eli Drake on annoying commentary, which is actually pretty good stuff. I said so far Eli Drake's commentary has been better than the match. For sure. Huh. Uh... Eddie uses... And they like the Kaborka. Eddie uses Kenny, which is a kendo stick, and gets DQ'd. And that's and how G that we, match ends. And G-Wiz likes the Kaborka. Of course. This shit was stupid. Eli Drake cuts a promo on Eddie Edwards after the match, basically calling him a hardcore loser, and it was actually pretty good still. So, all right, Eli Drake. Kind of... Carrying the whole fucking segment, man. Good job, buddy. Oh, and the funniest thing, I remember Eli Drake joking with Don Callis. He says, don't ever call me a stud again. It makes me uncomfortable. <laughs> <laughs> a stud. All Sorry, right. I got all quiet. I was looking up, uh, we started talking about Eddie Edwards, and I was like, oh, yeah, I never looked up to see what the fuck happened to Davey Richards. It's supposed to be coming back in 2019, so we'll see. Oh, okay. All right, this next match I'm sure Mojo enjoyed a great deal. <laughs> even though it was like 20 seconds long. And that is Alley, a.k.a. Evil Alley, a.k.a. Dark Alley, versus Jordan Grace. Thank the Lord she changed her fucking finisher. That fucking bear hug had to go. Yeah. Oh. Oh my god, speaking of that finisher, that was like a variation of like a Penta driver. Yes. Yeah. That was that one I seen her doing on the GIF. She just fucking rotated the chick. But like the chick she did to was so small and light, she didn't whip her around fast. Like fully rotated her until she was upside down and then dropped her straight down. Sweet. Well, I like that yeah, move. It's, it's great, move. Yeah. yeah, it's fucking sweet. And I'm that's like, when I learned Allie can bump like a motherfucker, man. Allie can take some bumps. Allie lived up to a dead alley theme. Mm. <laughs> she sure looked dead after that. I don't know if you guys have been paying attention to this, but uh, Kringo Loco has been doing pretty good. God damn it. No, I'm looking at my notes and fucking talking again. <laughs> That's right. We're doing a watch along or a lack thereof. <laughs> yeah. Like, I'm watching. Kind of. Well, so I'm far, gonna... it's been a oh. pretty good match. Ugh. I would suggest watching. I'm going to oh, try to pay better attention after that runner. ridiculous looking cutter. Let's see, this is probably going to be the match of the night right here. Ugh. Ugh. He's trying to fuck the back of his face. <laughs> oh, now he's. Oh, oh fuck Matt, your own face! <laughs> yeah. Part of the new day. 
<laughs> it's his new day audition. What are they doing there, Percy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, I don't know. Why would you ask me? <laughs> well, he's obviously having fun, which you know nothing about. <laughs> okay. Oh, hey, after that alley match, or after oh, we Jordan picks up the, the win, the lights go out, and there's Rosemary. I don't know this fucking well, story. Before this, <laughs> evidently Rosemary has, has Bray Wyatt powers because of Sue Young was there about to help Allie up. Lights went out, and then Rosemary's there, and we see nothing after that of Sue Young. Yeah, Sue Young. They took her to hell. We're going to have to hide under the ring the whole rest of the show. That had to suck. Or Rosemary. Fuck, it's hot under here. You go to hell. You go to hell and you die. Sweating, this makeup's running. Get me the fuck out of here. (laughs) Who pooped under here? (laughs) Moose. Okay, here's a bucket. Moose versus Brian Cage. (laughs) Moose Knuckle. Moose actually did some work. I can't be too mad at him for this match. Oh, shit. Really? I can. Mm. I mean, it a wasn't Falcon Arrow great, top. but he tried. I. Oh, he kicked out. Yeah. You gotta be Falcon kidding me. <laughs> I get nothing on that? Okay. It's uh, taking a hit. He's like, oh, yeah. death claw. I what? like Cage more when he's in there... With, like, smaller dudes who he can just fucking launch around the ring. It's a little more entertaining to watch those matches with him. Nice. <coughs> that stunner was awesome. <coughs> <coughs> Sorry. Oh, my God. They killed Cheese Man. Again, this is the problem with wrestling now. They hit all these awesome fucking clearly wood in the match moves and kick out, kick out, kick out. Uh-huh. John Cena There's too Chico. much of that. There really is, man. Yeah, it's okay like to have a, a false finish here and there, but to have like fucking five of them within a two-minute span. <laughs> yeah. It's like, come the fuck on. All right. I didn't think, no, think that how this could be pa- passed up, but I noticed in the audience in the during the Brian Cage match that it looked like Betty Betty White celebrating her 97th birthday <laughs> was in the audience. I was just like, rock on, Grandma. Yes. Enjoying some Impact Wrestling. Grandma. Try this. <laughs> uh, so, yeah. Um, did we cover the rest of that match? Or did we stop in the middle of it? Uh... I forget. What the fuck was that? Cage hits what looks like a Michinoku driver or something. I don't know what he calls it. I and heard, picks heard up it the call it Death Claw huh. or something like that. Okay, the Death Claw then. I don't so, know why it's called that, but I'll take it. Ugh. Yeah, he about broke his own damn neck fucking up a spot, and that's what picked up the win. Ain't that a bitch? After all the good shit that happened, <laughs> that's what picked up the win. Okay. I do. You getting crazy with this, eh? Don't You're lucky you didn't mind. break your own neck, dude. <laughs> eye patch. You did he just put on an eye patch? Jesus Christ. Yes, he did. Okay. He should have put on a fucking neck brace. <laughs> All right, here's the dirty blondes and the jump rope. <laughs> the oh, jump rope. So, so I guess we can go <laughs> back to... That's what they call his giant back penis. Back to impact. The extension oh, cord. <laughs> the extension cord. <laughs> the the <laughs> oh. We get a the pretty switch. awesome killer rock <laughs> promo. The hickory switch. <laughs> God, there, come here, hickory stick. I got one right here. <laughs> that old guy on the left has a massive wiener, according to legend. Massive. <laughs> What's wrong with your leg? Oh my god, that's not your leg. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the dick talk. I love it. <sighs> Tick tock. I know that place that's Scottish, right? <laughs> thank you, thank you. Uh, I don't even get mad at you for that one. Hey, it's <laughs> Filthy Tom. 
Hey, that's a cool video game shirt. I might have to look into scoring one of them. Oh, no way. I wonder if you can get my shirt at MLW. <laughs> <laughs> It, uh, it'd probably be at Pro Wrestling Tees. They have everything. Yeah. Well, fuck. I really like that shirt. Seriously, that's pretty sick. <laughs> Unclaimed. Hey, Pro Tom Wrestling Waller. Tees. Love ya. Want to say uncleanly? Is that what you said? <laughs> yes. <laughs> uncleanly Tom Lawler. Uncleanly Tom Lawler. It's filthy. His name's filthy. <laughs> Filthy Fighter Turbo! Please welcome Unacceptable Hygiene, Tom Lawler. <laughs> Scrubby Tom Lawler. It looks like he may have washed his hair, and that's like, dude, that's bad for your gimmick, bro. <laughs> Alright. His shit looks way too clean right now. I'm out here in the African wild so I can find new shit to roll in. <laughs> I'm standing at a green screen to make sure everyone sees my new t-shirt. <laughs> like I said, are you sure that's not a MLW exclusive t-shirt? Well, it probably is, but they probably got all their stuff at Pro Wrestling Tees. Right. Because that's where almost all of the indie promotions hock their wares. Yep. That's pro wrestling tees. All one <laughs> word. T E E S, you gotta spell it out. Dot com. Dot com. Breaking news. That's twitter.com slash the high marks. <laughs> That's where we would put a shirt if we had a shirt. We do oh, we have some have cool shirt. shirt designs, but we don't have any shirts. Let me tell you how a tan works. Yeah. Put Roman in there. <laughs> I am not remember See, what the hell mine was anymore. I can't either. Two. Ain't that a bitch? <laughs> Your shirt sucks, fag. All right. No, really, what was it? I don't, I'm trying to remember. <laughs> <laughs> because all of them were good. <laughs> Aaron's was definitely the best. Or, I'm sorry, Mojo's was definitely the best, though. Let me show you how a TIG works. That was a good watch along. <laughs> my, that was supposed to be a shit show. It was my show man and Zeus. Oh, God, yeah. In a cage match or some shit, right? I'm, I'm thinking it gets Just Hogan awful. and... Brutus Barber Beefcake. The superpowers or whatever, Just yeah, okay. Off. <laughs> it was terrible. Nauseating. <laughs> oh, Puma King. Uh -oh. Ringo Loca versus Puma King. MJF returns very temporarily. <laughs> no shit. <laughs> They're losing all their guys. I forgot about that. Yeah, he's gone too. AEW exclusive, yeah. <laughs> I'm wondering, though, at the... Heart Foundation is I have not seen them on any of the other mainstream wrestling promotions like other than I'm Super still Indie amazed Show. they can use that name <laughs> Simon Gotch versus, versus Ace Nate Romero. Romero okay well Payback. I don't know why he's holding his hand like that, because I'm sure he can take more than two fingers. <laughs> oh. Speaking of two fingers, what the hell's going on here? He could definitely take more than two fingers. <laughs> Mance. His name's Mance. There, yeah. Therefore, the expression on his face. It's a combination of mm, hey, look, man it's and pants. Against Horus. I haven't seen Aerostar outside of fucking... Ray Horus. It's... El Hijo del Rey Mysterio versus Lucha Underground guy. Yep. That guy's badass, by the Lucha way. Lucha Underground. Aerostar. I heard that they were trying to start up the next season. Well, I heard that half of the motherfuckers who are under contract with them won out of their contracts, and they're not letting them out, and it's fucking pissing people off. I, Why I sign the contract, is what I say. Why sign the right. contract? <clears throat> you sign the damn contract, stupid. 
Yep. And they they record it, so it's like you probably could get that done in like a few days time when they're pre-recording their shows. Right. It, uh, Ivelisse is one of them. Who I like her a lot, actually. Yeah. But she wants out of that shit. And they, they, they don't want to let her go, and it's like a big deal now. That might be a cool fight. The Lucha Bros against the Heart Foundation. Especially if it's Teddy and oh, Bulldog f- Jr. Yeah, we got like half of Impact left that we're not doing again. But when he said the Lucha Bros, you you reminded me of how it ended. So, okay, we get back to Tessa Blanchard has a hissy and gets fucking suspended. Are we? Oh, yeah. I kept on trying to mention Killer's Cross's promo and how much I liked it and everything, but just kept on skipping <laughs> over it. I don't even remember it. I must have skipped it. Damn it. Damn it. Tick tock. I've been waiting for this one. Trey Miguel versus Logo Man. Oh, yeah. Uh, I, they had that fucking promo earlier in the show where they were sitting around getting, in the back getting stoned. <laughs> I, I missed that. Trey, it was all smoky and shit. And Trey's been wearing the same suit that he's been wearing since Homecoming. <laughs> mm-hmm. He's like, I didn't get a date for Homecoming. It's like, wait, Homecoming? Or he's like, I didn't even win Homecoming King or some shit like that. Well, I did. It wasn't a dance. <laughs> Fuck, I might have to go back and watch that. I like stoner humor. And it's not usually on <laughs> r- on wrestling unless it's ECW or like late 90s chronic references. <laughs> anyway, Logo Man, Rich Swan hits one of the most amazing Hurricane Ranas I've ever seen. <laughs> Off the top rope from a standing position in the ring and just whipped his ass around. It was pretty fucking badass. Did anybody nice. even notice that, or am I the only guy? No, I noticed that. Yeah, but I did I also one. Was, was sort of like, wow, that wasn't a bad 450 splash. Yeah, it was a great one. For his finisher. And that's what picked up the win. Yeah, it was fucking spot on, but that... Hurricane Rana, dude, the guy had to jump like eight feet in the air to get up there. It was fucking magical. <laughs> like, dude, how'd you even do the that? Only, the only disappointment I had on that match was that it seemed like they were like, um, we're running long. Um, <laughs> you guys, your match is now three minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Hurry up and get all your spots in and make the pin as quick as you can. Oh, thank God. This match is only going to be like four more minutes <laughs> long. Cool. I'm not watching this, but it's Dirty Blondes, so I'm allowed to not watch it, even if it is the Heart Foundation. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yeah, uh, Teddy's not even in it. After Logo Man picks up the win, out comes OVE, and Callahan offers Rich Swan a t-shirt. End of segment. Didn't really clear anything up. And then we get OVE, specifically the Christ Brothers versus LAX. Uh, okay, good talk. Okay, yeah. I really didn't no. have <laughs> much notes other than the ending. Well, that's what happens with really good matches. Yeah, it was actually a really good match. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed the hell but out of it. That was a... Uh, they, they've been doing this like two times in a, in a row now. It's becoming a theme where I like X wins after like a whole bunch of finishers in a row. Yeah, like three yeah. to four crazy moves in a row, and everything. Yep. You're like, is the referee going to make the other guy get out of the ring? Because <laughs> <laughs> no. they should pull like four or five different moves off in a row. And <laughs> yeah, it was a. I know, they're not even tagging or anything. They're just and they're beating the shit of them two on one for a minute. It's like a Cutter, code breaker, uh, a s- 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 super, super kick, super kick into a double team suplex. All those in like a, a matter of say eight seconds, uh, right? And then the pin, which I mean, Ow. if the guy would have kicked out after that, I'm going to turn my TV off. 
And then LAX calls out the Lucha Brothers. Actually, they say, if you want to catch another ass whipping. And then Conan says, what? What are you doing? End of show. Speaking of ref not paying attention, the uh, fucking dirty blondes just uh, both came in while his back was turned fucking beat the shit out of the dude. And then the dude who wasn't legal stayed in the ring. And the guy who was legal got outside of the ring and the ref didn't even question it. It seems like that's been <laughs> happening a lot lately. Oh. The classic high <sighs> Get over there, little flying. Hashtag blonde hearts. Blonde hearts. Nope, I'm not hashtagging that. Hey, you know what? <laughs> I didn't remember to turn on the captions. I bet I missed a lot of fun today. Oh, yeah, me They've either. actually been sadly pretty odd. Right? Well, that's awesome. like, damn it, they're accurate. I kept on waiting for something funny to pop up, and it, I'm Please. like... <laughs> First one, he's taking both members of the Dirty Blonde Big Grid Extension on the back. <laughs> body drop. Or body drop. Yeah, body drop eventually came up, but I enjoyed that was Pounding great. away on the side of the head. <laughs> Pounding away. Pounding away. With that extension on the back. <laughs> Big scoop, that's a big man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there goes Flying Brian, flying. That was pretty good. There goes Brian flying. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> flying Pillman Brian. Wait, what? I did that. Uh oh, one. what's going on here with Junior Bulldog? Oh, shit. Uh, Boy, he just barely got fed him over. <laughs> Uh -huh. super I was worried for the there for a second. It's like uh, he might die like right now in front of us. Right. And then there's <laughs> Colonel Parker in the background. Well, at least I've still got a giant wiener. All right. Sure, my team lost, but I took get this hog meat down here. Oh, cut up Brazil. I thought he was hurt. Returns in action next week. Okay, well. Kofi's back. I'm canceling the show <laughs> next week. We're not watching that. Oh, but Sammy is going to be there. Okay, we'll do it, I guess. Versus L.A. Park. Hey, that's got some kind of hardcore potential. Yeah, depending on the stipulations of the match. Oh, maybe that has to do with the storyline from last week. Maybe. Where Sammy was trying to get like more money or something yeah to try to take out feel for the time lawler i'm tony cotty what was that award for ed did anyone catch that nope okay oh that was rookie of the year for mlw uh, no, no, no. i guess that's okay yeah, yeah, it's MLW. MLW. Yeah. Fuck. isn't everyone in mlw a rookie is you it, would think so. Is it MLW, MLW a rookie? rookie? <laughs> right. At least the show is. We know it's, that for sure. I mean, it's around as long as we've been. Yeah. Unless it's one of those wrestling magazine awards. Hey, Mojo. Hey. Congratulations. What? You are the Wrestling's High Marks Podcasting Rookie of the Year, buddy. How's it feel? <laughs> Woo! Mm. I was I hoping you'd say I'm going to Disneyland, but that's fine. I don't want to go to that place. <laughs> and fuck Disney. Right. I, I have to deal with kids and crappy weather already. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, hey, that was our MLW40 watch along. Good stuff. Well, okay stuff at best. Okay stuff indeed. Uh, gonna have to go back and rewatch. Uh, the the crazy Kolo white Kolo. guy against uh yeah uh, against uh, <clears throat> god damn it what's his name over here I don't know something Martinez I think Ricky Martinez thank you there you go Max Stardom <laughs> I'm gonna watch that again later I really am sure you are no I have to after all the good things that 
you said about it while I didn't watch it. Shout outs? Does anybody got shout outs? Um, let's let me check. Yeah, so let me pull up fucking the Twitter. <laughs> the Twitter. The Twitter. Yeah. Let's see if we get any twats. That's twatter.com slash the high marks. Bitch made. On Instagram, Tandine Bin 2 started following. Okay. The JD Rush. Hey, oh, JD oh, Rush, oh. that's my guy. Oh, yeah? Yeah, he's an independent Start wrestler. Following us back. I created his logo for him, and he is much appreciative. Hmm. Blueprints of Wrestling 3. Thanks for the follow. And uh. the, that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow. Shout out for <laughs> Instagram. All right. The Graham. Well, <clears throat> what do we got from the twats? Tweets. Tweets. Well, what do we have to tweet? Uh, Twitter fucking is being dumb as fuck on my phone right now, so I can't see about the midweek munchies. But last week we got uh, retweets from Bobby Anthem. Woo! Bobby Anthem! And, TH- and THT Podcast. What's up? Hey, hey. Shout out to those guys. Shoutsies. And, yeah, so I can't see. Uh, actually, that was for midweek munchies, so mm-hmm. I can't see what we got for last week. Week's episode. Well, there might just not be any. That's how that goes. Well, no, it won't <laughs> show any, any of our tweets besides the one pinned one. That's it. So. <laughs> Shout out! My phone sucks. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Then I got our regular shoutouts. So we got the podcast family here, the Wrestling Soup, Don Tony Kevin Castle Show, Suplex City Limits. Check those guys out. No, your boy Burbs. Uh, in human experience. Yeah, Burbs. We're gonna hook you back. <laughs> Come back, Burbs. I want more. Burbs. Uh, in human experience with Bobby Anthem and Bobby Blades. Big shout out to those guys. Check them out. Shout Not out. Exactly wrestling, but still go we'll give it a listen. All right. Same with getting the corners. Not wrestling, but check them out. Yuck, nasty, and dog a bit. A little off the walls. It's wild. They're good folks. <laughs> They're good folks. <laughs> Yuck, nasty. Yeah, they're cool dudes. Uh, the WNC Super Show. Hmm, Check those guys out. Now I do. Yep. And, and of you. course, Jason Solomon. Hey, yo. Check him out. The legend. <clears throat> but that about does it over here. Yeah, he's got ridiculous YouTube numbers, man. Yes. Ridiculous. I'll say, anybody listen to it. I'm sure already knows about Jason Solomon. <laughs> yeah, if you located us before you found him, then you did something wrong. <laughs> yeah, something was backwards there. You fucked up, dummy. Do we shout out to Spade? But just in case, shout out to Spade. Spade, MF Spade. <laughs> A what up? local underground uh, musician slash artist. Go check that guy out. Yep. And that is all. That is all. <laughs> all right. Well, that was an eventful shout out segment. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Anyone listening. You can't tell me what to do. Get on your Twitter and look up the only JD Rush or at the only JD Rush and give him a follow. He's out there. He's working his ass off to try to do this wrestling thing. And he's a good guy. So hook him up. JD Rush. Indeed. <laughs> oh, I also wanted to shout out Aaron England, who we kept on <laughs> accidentally tagging in his podcast, oh my Z2 God. TV podcast. That literally <laughs> happened. I've been tagging the wrong Aaron England in our fucking uh, <laughs> stuff for like weeks. Because on I Facebook, just, yeah. A A R and it pops up, so I just hit enter, assuming it's the right guy, but it's the wrong dude. I fucking that's my bad, everyone. Sorry. <laughs> but he does a podcast, so Yeah, yeah, huh. but what the fuck are the odds? All right. The two T V podcast. Apparently every Aaron England in America Aaron has England. a fucking podcast going, so 
Aaron England recommends Aaron England's podcast. <laughs> uh, there you go. Yep. Give him a listen. And give us a listen first, though, you dicks. <laughs> right. And then you can check out the Aaron England show endorsed by the Aaron England show. All right. All Episode right. 40. 40. 40. Episode 40. 40. Your wrestling Zymarks is in the books and about cashed. I've been your host, Cheese Man. Join along with Mojo Sapien of the 420th Brigade. And I am G Wiz Willoughby. Remember to check us out on Twitter. That's twitter.com slash the high marks or on Facebook. It's facebook.com slash the high marks. Or you can tag us on either of those apps with at the high marks. Or you can get us on the gram. That's Instagram.com slash wrestling's high marks because it can't all be the same. It just can't. And Mojo's a dick. giant dick. Yeah. There. Oh, that, <laughs> just making sure that everyone's still completely aware of yeah. that fact. You see, I set him up. You knock him down. I'm talking Colonel Parker dick. Okay, we're going to have our guy Dan Mintz take us out this week. So, uh,. If there's nothing further, gentlemen. Nope. I ain't got shit else to say. <laughs> Take us out, Dan. Last words. And then I'm jealous of kids today. It's so much easier to jerk off than it used to be. Like, when I was a kid, you had to go find this year's catalog, go to the lingerie section. Now the internet, I just go to my computer, go online, go right to Sears.com. <laughs>
deep. Just like Colonel Parker. <laughs> Those are some deep, penetrating words you got there, buddy. <laughs> Dark, deep, penetrating words. They really hit the spot. <laughs> Wanda Parker with my Colonel. <laughs> bo bo the, colonel. <laughs> the Colonel. The <laughs> Colonel. Everyone asked for the Colonel. I say you, he did. What wrong you? I say you, he huge. Ignorant. Change it. He was killed rectally. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking right to death. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy says, wrecked him. Damn near filled him. <laughs> Overfilled him. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of, is it of supposed that, to come out my nose how, like this? How it could just let, let YouTube run and everything. We were all talking about Colonel Parker and everything, and then a picture of Paige pops up with her tongue sticking out. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, "Good one, Wrestle Talk. Good one. <laughs> Perfect comedy timing." Yeah, we. Paige, Paige riding the fucking Colonel. She fucking looked like a human soap dispenser by the end of it. <laughs> <laughs> Sprung a leak. It's supposed a bit to come warm out in the bathroom. <laughs> wow. That or just like the NXT women's title after that one video. Yes, I need some Kleenex or an NXT women's title, whichever you got handy. <laughs> I don't have a jizz rag handy. Let me grab the highest prize in professional women's wrestling. <laughs> Okay, anyway. <laughs> well, I've got this title over here. <laughs> Wasn't why I had mine when I said use the belt, but... All right. That's some pretty absorbent leather. <laughs> okay. That cow was well taken care of. <laughs> some well-treated shit. It just needed one more clear coat. Now it's good. <laughs> okay. But it isn't clear. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Yep, that's uh, a whole lot more editing now. Than <laughs> Oops. Don't worry. I'll just cut that. Yeah, it's uh, fine. At least we were recording for once when we went off on one of those random-ass fucking tangents. That's if usually you, a spot where we wouldn't be recording. Yeah, the trick is I'm usually always recording, and then I claim I wasn't. Yeah. <laughs> good <laughs> yeah. all right i'm gonna get off here but good shit today kids okay all right see y'all later eat a dick